friends, welcome to another sunny side design video today. We've done some work in a client's home recently and she has a salon in her basement that's really tiny, but she has a lot of product to sell she and she just needed storage. She did. We are going to show you how you can build custom shelves into your home into an existing wall and make more storage space anywhere you need. And we're going to show you the step-by-step -step tutorial how we did the entire process. Yep. So as mentioned before, she had this hole in her wall for a good couple of years. Um, and she had this piece of beadboard just resting in the back. It wasn't even attached. Um, and if you're going to be doing this in your own house somewhere, just make sure if it's a structural wall or load bearing that you put a header in so that it's still structurally sound because you don't want your wall crashing in on you. But essentially they had taken out a couple of um, the boards in there and then framed it out. And then this gave us our base measurements for building these shelves. Here's a quick sneak peek at the finished product and you'll want to make sure to watch till the end of the video because you will love our client's response. She was so cute. She was so happy that this was finally in her salon. We used MDF for these shelves and we had a four by eight foot piece cut down to seven and a half inch strips. So I came up with the plan, the measurements, how big these shelves are going to be, the depth or the height we needed the shelves to be, the depth of the shelves, and I came up with a little sketch here and how many shelves we could get. Um, we're going to cut our shelves to be, the wood to be 72 and a half inches high, and that is going to fit in our cubby that's cut out of the wall that is 72 and three quarters of an inch. And then our width of our shelves is going to be 26 and a half inches. So we're gonna start by cutting the length of the shelves. All right, I've got the two sideboards lined up here. I've got them stacked on top of each other and I've measured my length, which is 72 and a half inches. And I'm just going to cut that across. Now we're going to measure where we're going to cut um, router grooves in this board that the shelves will go into. So, going to measure each one will be 14 and a half inches apart. So we're gonna mark it 14 and a half, 29, 43 and a half, and final one is 58. And now I'm just going to use a framing square here to make a straight line for the router to follow. It's gonna follow along here, square it off. Okay. We are now ready to cut the grooves in our side panels and we're going to do that with this router here. And the router has a straight bit cutting bit in it. It's a three quarter inch wide cutting bit and the depth of it is three eighths of an inch, which will be half of the depth of these boards that we want to go in. And then I'm going to run the router across here and make this cut. Okay, so I'll put the router in that channel there and then I'm gonna flip it on and let it get up to speed before I push it along and make my, my cut. Okay, so you can see we have got two grooves in each board exactly lined up the same. Now we're just gonna proceed down and we're just going to move the boards down to the next line, line them up with our groove. We continue with this process all the way down the vertical boards, creating all of the grooves for each of the shelves. Now 
Now you can see both vertical boards laying down next to one another with each of the grooves in there. And this is just going to give you a little bit better idea of the grooves that we made and where the shelves will actually fit into those grooves. So it's going to make a nice, strong, sturdy shelving unit. Now I'm ready to cut the shelves. I've marked my wood here, the width that our shelf is going to be. Make sure it's pushed against the back of the saw so it's square, and we'll cut that. I have cut four shelves that are going to fit in those four grooves that we made in our sideboards. And in order for them to slip in easier, we have found that it's um, best to just take some sandpaper and just ease off a little bit of the wood on both sides of the shelf. And then when it goes in, it just, it's easier to put together. So first of all, you wanna start with some wood glue. And we're just gonna put some glue in our grooves here. And then take a shelf. And this um, bond with the wood glue in the groove, and then we'll put some little brads in there, is really going to make this a strong hold. We've used this method to build how many built ins now? Probably seven or seven. Seven? Okay, let me get it lined up. Okay, go ahead. So we just use the rubber mallet to tap it in until it is flush. Again, just repeat the same process with all of the shelves. Um, the most important thing is to make sure that the shelves are flush to the vertical boards. Um, you might need to hammer from the sides a little bit too just to make sure that they are level and flush. And then go ahead and wipe away any excess glue that comes out as well because if you don't, you're going to be sad. <laughs> it will not paint up well, so make sure you get that glue while it's still wet. Then we carefully flipped this portion over so that we were able to mark where the middle of the shelves were and secure them with our brads. Once each shelf was marked, we took the brad nailer and secured each shelf with three brads. So this really is going to give it a nice strong hold. We applied glue to the other end of the shelf um, that was sticking up and then we carefully placed the other vertical board on top of the shelf pieces making sure that they all fit into the grooves which we cut with our router and again just make sure that everything is nice and flush there and we gently hammered it into place just to make sure it was nice and square. Then we took the framing square and again just marked the center of each of the shelves to give us a good reference point um, where we would be putting the brads with the brad, um, pneumatic brad nailer. Our final part is to just put an end piece on the top and the bottom and so we're just going to put glue on the, these ends right here both sides and then we will nail those into position. Nothing too tricky here we just made sure to line this bottom piece up with the vertical board make sure everything is nice and flush and we secured it into place with three brads and repeated on both sides now that our actual bookcase is all built we're going to trim it out with some molding so i've measured out the molding to the distance between the two sides so we're going to do those little pieces first and it's going to give us a nice custom look on each shelf and it's wider than the shelf and so it's going to look like have the appearance that our shelves are wider we are now going to just run a bead of glue on along the front of the shelf and use our brad nailer to nail it into position we're going to line up the top of the board or the top of the molding with the shelf The 
the molding was installed to the four shelves. The sides the, and the top and bottom molding pieces were installed at our client's home directly into the wall. The next step on preparing the shelves to, before we paint them is to caulk all the edges. And this will just ensure that we have a nice, um, smooth, there will be no seam lines showing in any of these um, seams. It'll just be perfect. And you do want to use caulk for this because it's flexible and will stretch if there's any movement to it. And we're doing all of this before we actually install it so that we can have it, um, our installation will be quicker. So we'll get it painted and um, then we'll just have to touch up where we um, nail it to the studs in the wall. An important part of caulking is the wiping. And this is why Steph is so good at it and I am not because I have my acrylic nails and she does not. And so she's able to get in there and wipe much better and can use her finger and she gets a really professional, smooth finish on the cock. And besides that, she loves to do it. I know, I'm weird. <laughs> so the shelving unit and the other molding pieces were painted prior to going to our client's home. The back beadboard piece was at her home when we got there. So we painted that up really quickly, let it dry, and then we just secured the beadboard to the back of the shelves, um, right into the shelves with our brad nailer. After the back beadboard panel had been secured to the shelving unit, we brought it downstairs and secured it into the studs with the pneumatic brad nailer. We did have to use some shim pieces here in spots to make sure it was thick enough that it would the shelving unit would be level and then also be secure to the studs. Once the shelving unit was secured into the studs, we were then able to install the rest of the molding pieces. We first did the two side pieces and we did those to the entire length of the shelving unit and then we were able to install the bottom and the header piece of the molding. We applied putty to each of the holes made with the brad nailer, allowed that to dry and then just did a little bit of touch up paint and they were finished. Hi friends, hey we just wanted to share our finished built-in cabinet that we did here for our friend Carol yeah. and let me just share the beauty of having Carol as our client is, we got our hair done we for did. free. Yay! We're working she broke and look girls, hair. and we got our hair off. Yeah, <laughs> but Carol, tell us what you think of yes, your cabinet. I am freaking out. <laughs> it is amazing. I am so excited. So, it is nice and deep. She has got seven and a half inches of deep storage in yeah. her wall yeah, that she yeah. can put her supplies in for her salon. It's amazing. So we're so excited. And Thanks. I'm going to just tell you that this was hard to figure out. So they, like, I don't know how, but they figured out how to do all the construction because we had two men that were trying to do it and couldn't figure it out, but we did. But they figured it out. Hey, it's done, and it looks gorgeous in her room, yeah. so and we're going to let the paint cure before we actually put product in it, but it's built, and we're done with it today. Isn't she the cutest? I just love her, and I'm so happy that we were able to help her finally get these shelves in her salon. She needed this storage space so much and she was so happy to have it finally finished. So we just love helping others. And her reaction was priceless. Love it. And we eventually came back and installed another built-in shelving unit for her. This was on another wall, a little bit shallower, but we were able to build this shelf directly in between the two studs so that's why you see this middle board framed out but now she has plenty of space to store her coloring products and shampoos and all sorts of different supplies for her salon so she has all this needed storage space. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and were able to get a few ideas for adding 
some custom storage to your home. This is really a unique way to incorporate storage space into small spaces utilizing um, the space you have in, in between your walls. So we hope you learned something here. We hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not already and make sure to follow us on all of our social media and that the links for all of those are below. And as always here at Sunnyside Design, we hope to bring your home to the sunny side of the street. Thank you.